uh, you know, well played from both guys. I'm, I'm really excited to get into uh, our third game, which is actually going to be on Core Delta. So um, I've got this bad boy loaded up, so just let me know when you're ready, and we'll rock and roll. Okay, I am ready to rock shock the house when you are. Rock shock. That's not one I've ever heard before. Three, two, one, rock shock the house, my brother. <laughs> All right, so uh, up here, top left, we've got Maestro Saga. Top right is Mr. VT Whiplash, my good buddy, uh, who I am cheering for right now. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm twiddling my thumbs with, with giddy anticipation, <laughs> uh, waiting to see what he comes up with. Um, man, Maestro is, uh, he's, I, I, in spite of the fact that his macro was far from perfect in that last game, he just impresses me with his decision making. He does some really smart stuff. And that's, honest to God, that's what separates good players from great players in StarCraft 2 because, you know, the mechanics of it all, the mechanics are not easy per se, but they're not mm -hmm. impossible. They're not anything like Brood War mechanics. You know, a, you or I or anybody that really sits down and commits ourselves to mastering the mechanics of StarCraft can get very good at the mechanical parts of it. So that being said, with the mechanical sk skill ceiling being a little bit lower than, uh, than it might have been in Brood War, uh, the thing that sets players apart is making intelligent, smart decisions using good, strong builds. And uh, Maestro, absolutely, in my opinion, demonstrating his ability to, uh, his ability to do that there. And, uh, absolutely. You know, not to no, not to sure. undersell Whiplash or anything, because he played he played so freaking great in the first game. Uh, I really hope to see him do something that's not a six gate here in game three. Yeah, um, you know, I'd like to see him switch it up too. He looks like a, a standard Forge fast expand mm -hmm. again, um, which is fine. Uh, very safe opening. Uh, we'll have to see if he goes ahead and goes for the uh, the typical uh, sixteen Nexus, or goes ahead and throws down a, a gateway to try to get some units out, or maybe get to an earlier six gate. Mm -hmm. Because um, because there's really it's it's sort of limiting right because uh, there's only so many ways you can go uh, it's DT Void Ray or Six Gate uh, it, it, typically is it, what we've been seeing so uh, but then again you know what I have to say this uh, toward the while we have a little bit of downtime here while we've got mining and everything going on you know in the beginning of the game in the beginning of StarCraft Two when it was first released a lot of QQing from Zerg a lot of crying and you know what they did. Rather than keep crying, they innovated. <laughs> and they came up with a bunch of new cool to builds. To be they came up with completely fair, Zerg was so broken. <laughs> no, it, yeah, I'm not going to... Listen, I won't di I'm not going to disagree with you. Uh, We're in a pretty but, good place now. We're in a yeah, pretty good a, place now. I have to credit them, though, because you know what they did? They got innovative. Uh, and it wasn't... Yeah, the Infestor buffs helped, certainly. I'm not going to say they didn't. But uh, as a Protoss player, it, it was really cool for me to admire a lot of the innovation whoa. coming out of the Zerg with drop play and everything else. But uh, whoa, innovation. yeah, ninja, ninja. I, I don't think Whiplash is going to scout that. No, uh, <laughs> highly doubtful. Uh, he can be close by ground. Yeah, that's a that's a Maestro being Maestro, very uh, very sneaky. Yeah, man, and he's once again just going for a very very fast double expansion. He's got three hatcheries down by four minutes, loving it. He did get an earlier spawning pool this time, but just because that probe was being so damn annoying in his natural. And uh, Whiplash, I gotta wonder what's going through his head right now, because he sees he's seen the spawning pool, I believe. Mm -hmm. Let me check the old Whiplash cam. He, yeah, he's seen the spawning pool. He sees that. Uh, that now that uh, there's just lings out on the map that Zerg is able to take his natural. I, I just can't imagine a world where he anticipates this hidden expansion down in the bottom right. That's really clever. And this is a big map. That's not a, that's not a spot right. that's likely to get scouted. No, everything seems to be on the up and up. And uh, sometimes that's when you almost have to worry. Of course, you can't prepare for everything. Um, well, look at these back the rocks in the natural. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, how hilarious would it be if, like, five roach rush and whiplash is like, I'm safe, and then they just, like, crush the back oh, rocks? Right, because <laughs> it, it, exactly, because it, it completely goes around the uh, the the cannon, the safety, quote-unquote, of uh, of the Forge Fast expansion. Right, yeah. Um, of course, as Zerg, like I was saying, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal play out of Zerg. Uh, so many ways, false nituses, uh, regular nituses, uh, so many ways around it, too. Uh, as well, drop play. Uh, I know uh, we made Fox's Moon very good with the uh, the drop play. Oh yeah, oh um, yeah. We're seeing a lot of drop play coming in. Uh, Lucira is one of my favorites. He loves. Oh my Manics. gosh, Lucira, amazing. MLG Columbus. Oh my oh, goodness. Such great games. Couldn't agree more. Could, were you at Columbus? Uh, I was not at Columbus. We'll be missing Anaheim, but I will be at Raleigh as well as Orlando. As a matter of fact, Mr. Bitter, we will have a team Tumba House 
uh, which is actually a team that doesn't exist. We're not competitive. Uh, but <laughs> we will have a team clubhouse in Orlando, so you'll have to stop by if you Man, there. if I make it to Orlando, I will I will come crash the Team Tumba house, and I will buy lots of beer. I'm I'm certain you will be there, and for those <laughs> in chat that want to come, you're all welcome to come to Orlando. I live in sunny South Florida. Whiplash, why? What, the back indestructible rocks are you referring to? I'm looking in the bottom of his mane. Oh no, six gate again. You know what? This is not he, six gate at all. This is he, something uh, entirely different. This is like eight gate. Eight, well, this he, is, you know what, you know what he, he's going to do? He's going to make only zealots and stalkers, and he's going to go LOL, face smash, Protoss, win game. This is actually a build that um, Whip has done to me before in practice, and it's kind of obnoxious. So all you Protoss guys that are watching the stream, <laughs> take notes here. Um, he is determined. If six doesn't work, we're gonna make more. Well, you can afford it if you, you know you're not spending any gas on sentries, so you're just powering out stalkers and zealots, uh, and it's predominantly zealots, and it becomes mm -hmm. such such just a huge army. You don't have the luxury of force field, but uh, but I mean it, it, it's just it's just sheer numbers. It's like I mean look at the right. well no I, I I was gonna say look at the supplies but that's completely tilted. The supplies are way in favor of Zerg right now. For now. But I mean look at this. He's morphing. Look at all these zealots that are being warped in. There's, there's that's a that's a cubic flunk ton of zealots right. <laughs> that is a lot of zealots. And uh, with the next uh, with the next round of units, basically Whiplash is gonna have more supply than Zerg right. Okay, so I've I've got a question for you. So as Zerg, you're a Zerg player yourself, correct? Yes. Okay, of course. So uh, as Zerg, how do you respond to this? Well, you have to recognize it and cut drones and start making units early enough. And I feel like, you know, I think Meister maybe has seen this soon enough to be okay, but he's got no Roach Warren. And, he, you know, he's going to be defending pure Zergling. Or he's going to be defending predominantly Zealots with pure Zergling. And that Not is going to be so, so hard. Uh, the Roach Warren is building right now. It's about 75%. Whiplash really needs to get on his horse and go, go, go. For but, sure. uh but, I mean, this uh, this is going to be so hard. Look, he, uh, Meister being forced to cut all drone production. He's only making lings. Um, and I, I even feel like Whip's got plus one. Yeah, he does have plus one. So these zealots are going to two-shot these zerglings. Oh, my gosh, oh. this is going to be so strong. Brutal. This it is, is going to be brutal. such an obnoxious build. Look at all these zealots. There's only am, one uh... stalker. <laughs> That's all you need with that. And he can just walk up the ramp. He doesn't even need to kill the natural. Not even concerned at all with that spine crawler either. Just gonna go ahead and do work right now. These zealots going ahead and just tearing through this zerg. Oh man! I am, I'm ripping a page out of this book. Of that. Although I said Roach is on the field, but it may just be too late at this point. If you said sheer numbers, uh, just gonna go ahead and overwhelm. Wow! And that's that's the strength of it, man. It's it's a, it's a complete. Yeah. You know, this, this is an, this is an off timing. This isn't a normal thing. Uh, six gate does not have 900 zealots in it. You're not you're not ready for something <laughs> like this playing, you know, traditionally. Uh, Maestro needed roaches. He needed burrow. He needed all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, roaches can kite zealots forever, especially when force field is a non-issue, and that's that's what he really needed. But man, whiplash. This is basically, quite frankly, a build order win. It's the perfect build to counter what Maestro was doing, and, uh, yes. and you know, I guess whip maybe recognizing Maestro's tendency to favor mass ling in the early game and really really laying it on him here. Zealots are pretty good when you've got this many of them. Absolutely, and uh, you know, one thing I, I've got to say with Whiplash, um, as he's going ahead and just basically melting down uh, Maestro's main, you know, as a, I was a professional poker player for many years, and uh, you really, part of poker, there's so many similarities to StarCraft, and one of which is, is reading information. Sorry about in, but you might want to check uh, with, with me. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like this doesn't matter because the Zergs right. can't kill oh, the yeah, cannon. There, there are lings, there are lings in, in Whip's main, but I don't think I don't think that Whip uh, is, is concerned with it. Uh, but although he may, he maybe he should get concerned with it now because these lings are now in the natural and and taking out all of the probes there. Well, I mean, so. Yeah, I mean, this is an awesome counter, but let's be completely realistic. Whiplash has got a, a, a seventy supply base. army, and there's right. and he just scouted Zerg. So I mean, if these spine crawlers finish, then Meister, I guess, wins the game. But uh, oh wow, this is actually going to be really epic and exciting. So these spines are going to be so close. Look how slow the zealots are. Oh my gosh, I don't know if Whiplash can kill this many spine crawlers. That is a lot of spine crawlers, and he's got the queen and the and the uh, roaches to block as well. Whip, so. you've got to go, son. 
Mr. Beer said, get on your horse, make something happen. But uh, as I was saying, uh, you know, it's all about reading information and... Uh, oh, man. Really, Whiplash, really good at taking in information and responding to it quickly. <laughs> he is going to try to break this. Well, he's, he's doing the smart thing. He's just going to walk right past it. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it was an exciting moment, I suppose. But, I mean... I... Well, you know, it, it is our job to add the excitement. To the <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing the best we can with what we've got. 12 supply now, 10-9. And, uh, but, I mean, I I, I want to. I really want to. Maestro did some smart stuff. That I, we totally missed the counter because I was so hung up on what was actually happening in the Zerg right. base. Um, but I mean, this is just uh, this is just too much Protoss stuff. I feel. And, and, I mean, and now that the pressure's gone, Whip's able to get back to creating probes. There's only you know eight eight drones on the map. Protoss still has a worker lead. And, uh, and and Zerg's never going to be able to mine from this. So Whiplash does actually finally secure this game. There's the GG from Meister. So it's definitely making it interesting. And I hate that we kind of lost track of the game there at the end. But um, uh, I, I don't want to undersell what, what, what we saw there out of Whip. You know, he, he, he did a really abusive build. Whip, frankly, that build was abusive as hell. But... Yes. Um, but it was it was a it was a it was a good build in that it it countered very well what he had seen out of his opponent in the last two or three games. Right. So you know he says you know this guy keeps opening up with a lot of lings on me. Maybe I can punish that if I do this this really big zealot gateway. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it an all in because it kind of was.